Wendy's a very good patient. So her spine always lines up. And you're probably not going to get um, too many of those patients in the clinic. It's not going to line up so perfectly. Thank you. Huh? Oh, yes. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of patients that are large. And we put the blocker at the top again, and we're going back to our left marker. Just put it in just a little bit. Now, remember how I told you the sacrum was three inches posterior to that mid axillary line, and the coccyx is five. So we're going to do sacrum and coccyx together on the lateral. There's really not much difference, so we're just going to do them both together. Okay? So, slide your hips forward just a little. Okay, we want to find our ASIS. Going to be one inch below that. Just posterior to that mid axillary line. So there's about mid axillary. So let's come back even more. Okay. That should be good. Let's come down a little bit more. There's a bias right there. Maybe so come down a little bit more. There's a lot of light behind, so we're going to cone down just a little bit. So you want to be posterior to that mid axillary line, and we are. Okay, let's cone a little bit on the side. And remember, when you're doing your lateral sacrum and coccyx, it's not going to be very wide, anyways, because of both of them together, they're going to curve and be a little bit different. But we can definitely come in. Okay. And once again, on expiration, we've got our center. So let's. We're gonna have to probably move our. Okay. And you can probably cone in a little bit more, but until you get real comfortable with it, I wouldn't cone in a whole lot. You're probably not going to see a lot of cone in anyway. Okay, and we'll do it on suspended respiration. We've got our marker. Everything is centered. Okay, you can relax.